All right, let's see if I can do this okay. Um, well, there's lots of sh uh, stuff going on here, I can tell you that much. Um, I did want to do an overhead. The problem, is, and I still will, and I'm also doing, um, uh, uh, been looking over the uh, the map, uh, the war table, uh, using the, the dictaphone and then transcribing to text, and I'm gonna take pictures. I tried, like I said, I'm trying to um, bypass doing a blog uh, primarily. Um, yeah, I wanted to do an overhead, but the problem is, is what I'm look trying to hopefully, and hopefully you'll still be able to see it. But I want to like bring it up. I was noticing the last video I was talking about stuff. I'm like, oh, you couldn't see this, and it's like, no, you couldn't. Um, I think I didn't write it down. Uh, officially in the in my playbook so it's not done deal but once I write something down in the in my uh, playbook uh, I'll take a look I'll show you the current one just about to do page 200 which I think is kind of um, uh, symbolic I guess because I'm about to do the final turn for the central powers and there's there are two of them so I think I'm finished doing the Russian turn to be honest with you um, and like I said, I'll do an overhead for perhaps showing the other stuff that's been going on. The main thing is, is that I've been trying to figure out... It's slightly gamey and then sometimes not slightly gamey and then it is gamey and then I figure out narrative uh, ways of making it not feel gamey. I was going to start withdrawing my troops. We're going to start talking, I guess, with the fourth corps here. I was going to start withdrawing my troops over to here and start bringing my troops over to uh, here to uh, to take over this entrenched position, which is um, uh, controlled by First Army Direct. And I was like, yep, yeah, technically I can do this. I can do a little conveyor belt and start moving one unit, one hex at a time across. Technically, I can do that according to the game. By the By the narrative, let's see what's happening here. You've got the 4th Corps, you've got all these troops under this command across the north of a river. Uh, but and, and I'm asking them to like, by the way, you're going to go from here to here, like like this guy to this guy, this guy, you get the idea. And this guy, by the way, hop across the river and take over this entrenched position. Well, I was just like, I know it could probably be done, you know, and so on and so forth. Especially maybe on the Eastern Front because it's a bit more not so c compact. In the sense, you can, I, uh, you know, I can get away with a little bit. Um, it just didn't feel right for me. Now, so I'm taking a big risk or a big gamble, or in the long run, I don't think so. I think for the Russians, I'm looking at it. Uh, which position is the most, is the worst position to lose? It would be this, as far as I'm concerned. If the if the Germans are able to take this, I'm screwed. Like I said, it right now we're like a fragile leg with the trenches. Uh, we're almost at opposite uh, attack angles and like it can do some horrible things. I think I'm still okay here, I think. It doesn't look good, does it? I'll have to take a look again. I think, oh my God, maybe this guy's toast. I'll have to look. Maybe those uh, that entrenched position is not okay. Uh, it doesn't look good, actually. One, two, three, four. I'm hitting you from four positions. I've already got an opposite end here. I think I'm still allowed to use that entrenched posi position because I've got uh, adjacent. I've got adjacent um, uh, unit friendly units. I think I'll have to look. But it get, I'm getting precarious, is what I'm trying to say. If this person, if the Germans take this position, like I've said before, uh, things start falling apart real quick. Um, and I don't want that to happen. So essentially I did a bit of jiggery pokery. I moved a lot of troops around here. It doesn't really matter in the long run, let's be honest. Um, so I moved, I went from five, uh, needing five hits to force a retreat for these two positions down to four. Um, this guy was already at four, so it's okay. I didn't move anybody down here. He's now up to a five. Uh, they're going to need, remember, I'm always, you always go in the, at least I am, I'm going in the favor of the defender. So therefore it's at 13 strength points, just a shave up above. Uh, it's so ironic that I find um, 
the game designer is always uh, uh, prides himself uh, like, oh, I like going about strength points when it comes to attack and so on and so forth. Like every strength points, every strength point matters, but it's like, well, not really when you start getting into one third and one half and you start incorporating those things into retreats, like those, like it goes out the window is what I'm trying to say. Um, so anyways, uh, we're just going with it. So I, the Germans now need five hits. To, it's just they have terrible uh, defending terrain. There's only broken here. So I'm just hedging my bets. This guy was only at eight anyways, I think. So it didn't matter. As long as I don't go down to six, I'm okay. So still need three uh, hits to force a retreat. I'm going to leave my core HQ there. It doesn't matter. I still get, I'm just, just going to retreat. Um, this I'm scared to death about. I'll be honest with you. I'm scared to death about. I've left this exposed. I've left this vacant. I'm hoping to God the Germans are not going to pop on across. I'm just hoping to God because that's going to cause a lot of grief. I just... Look. Yeah, let's look at reality here. I have no... I had to move some troops back here. Okay? So these guys can't move anymore. I have no one to move to this position. All right, because I I with with look I had to withdraw this core HQ which was here to there. All right, now I've got ten here. He's going to need three hits to force a retreat. I move anybody towards here enough. I'm never going to have enough people to move back here unless he wants to move. Uh, I guess I can move there. But then he starts being able to force more people, potentially another uh, position to attack this way. And he's also got his cavalry here. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, he probably couldn't do it. But still, I'm not, uh, I don't want, I'm not, uh, hmm. I'll, I'll look at it one more time. This is scaring the dickens out of me. I, as far as I want it, the only way I can put troops there is to strip off troops there. Either a complete withdrawal over to there. Hmm. Should I do that? Should I withdraw my troops across the river? He can take that position. He'll attack here. I can still move some troops over to here. So I can bring him up to, if I bring him up, if, if I give him three points to there, I'll give him to 10, that'll be four. He needs four hits to still cross a river. It's pretty, pretty crazy nonsense. So he'll be down to a seven. I don't know if I'm allowed to based on what's there. I'll have to take a look at 49. Bring him down to here. Okay, so that's seven. He's going to need three hits. Oh, that's good. So he comes across. This is position I don't want him to take. If he takes this, he's across the river, all hell breaks loose. I know it's last turn, doesn't matter. Because we have to start looking for entrenched positions. I don't want him there. Okay. Okay, okay. He gets to here. He can't get ever across here, could he? No. But he could get across here if I put a piece of crap or um, nothing there. So if I move this guy over to there... Okay, so I'll move some of my troops from here to there. Okay, so, uh, sorry, I just have to get the little green arrow, which is my favorite little marker I use. Uh, just from MS Paint, printing them off and stuck them off some chipboard and had some fun with some dollar store paper and away we went. Uh, where are you? Okay, so I have to just make sure <laughs> that uh, the Germans can't take that position. Okay, let's get back to reality here, which is here. I decided to go with five. Yeah, I'm going to stick here and we'll just see what happens. Uh, slight gaminess. They could, uh, the Germans can attack here, cut off some uh, lines of supply. But it's the end of the game, in quotes, because I'm going into December truce. So it all goes down to this is it. Okay, so I'll just do, like I said, I'll just do a tiny little bit. I don't know. Let's see. Number 49, BG 49. This has been, uh, this is it guys, this is it. We're down to like the last turn, Central Power's turn. And my mind is going a mile a minute. 
and I move some people over. So what did I need to do? Um, I need to move, I need to get him over up to nine, three hits. So I need two, yep, I can do that. I can move the, uh, the 16th Infantry Regiment, which are from the 2nd Brigade of the Caucasian Grenadiers. And I'll also move over the 14th Infantry Division. And they're from the 1st Brigade of the Caucasian Grenadiers. So I wonder where the other guys are. Okay, so I'll move them over. That'll give me, uh, these guys will be down to eight. I'll bring them over to here. So that'll cause them to need um, three hits to force a retreat. All right, I can deal with that. And then um, these guys will be uh, three hits to force a retreat, correct? So I'll be a three and a three. How about we do this now? I'll just pop them on over and we'll see what that is. And that'll be the end of the Russian turn. I can move this broken rail because that's a gimme later on. But I'll pop it on, pop it on over here, just for fun. All right. Does that make sense? One, two. Unless there's no, they can't get across. Hold on here. So no, they can't. No, because that beautiful river. I'm no. Okay, we're okay. I think. So I'll just move. Like I said, I'll just move some strength points over here. This is a, you know, whatever. So you'll become a nine and you'll become a eight. And that's it. And then we just uh, wait for the hammer blows, which is going to end the die rolls, essentially. So three hits, uh, sorry, four hits, four hits, three hits, five hits, four hits, four hits. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh my God. This has just been amazing. So uh, that's it. I'm just going to do a slight bit of record keeping, do another video, but um, off we go. I'm just, um, hope for the best. Hope for the best if you're hoping for the Russians, man, which I am right now. Okay. And in a little bit, I'm not going to be. Okay. See you later.